I'm speaking with Sam Horgan this morning from Horgan's Imports. Now I've known this company for quite a few years because as a retailer many years ago I had a lot of dealings with Horgan's and it was started by Sam's father Patrick and it's just grown and grown since then. They have one of the biggest stands at this fair. Sam, can you tell us a little bit more about Horgan's Imports? Now Horgan's here was a family business. Both my mum and my father are very, very strongly influenced in the whole look and the design and the help to what uh, my sister and I have been involved with. My sister is um, heavily involved as well. She looks after the sort of the business and the account side, where mum and myself look after the creative side and we sort of look at um, innovative new designs and travelling throughout the world and looking over our arms in, in Europe and looking for what Australia needs to be brought to the new designs around the world. Terrible job. No, at times, <laughs> at times. Um, now we can't bring the whole stand here, I'd love to, because it's just outstanding, but we have got a few products here this morning. One thing that I really love about this season's collection is the introduction of some lovely soft pastels. Yes, definitely. And we brought it together with our, um, our cushions. It's a nice stone wash colour. It's quite soft, but of course, as Trish said, it's introducing those uh, beautiful soft colours. And also our lamps as well. We call these our Rubens lamps. The beautiful long stem floor lamps with nice tight um, umbrella tops. They're quite sweet and they can be used in sort of a contemporary look and also a very classic look as well. Yes, uh, absolutely they could, yeah, particularly the, the darker colours. Um, I was looking at them before and I thought I would never have thought of putting a tiny little lampshade on a, a long slender stand like that. How, how did you come about making that decision? Well, of course, it was also just with Marion and myself doing a lot of experimentals as well and looking at how we can actually reinvent the floor lamps. And what we do love is the actual simplicity of it. And um, luckily enough, we can make it small because it's got that reflector inside which does tell a lot of light and it's great for the, a side table. It does. Bedside it casts cast quite a lot of light, doesn't it? For a definitely, tiny little, definitely. Tiny little and the light. colours as well was, yeah. a, was a quite, quite a nice choice as well. I mean, they can be used in all sorts of areas, bedsides of course and lounge chairs. That'd be and, lovely, yeah. And they do go well with a lot of people's collections. Yes. Now can we talk about this lamp because the desk lamps, classic style lamps have been around for quite a while but this is a different bent on it altogether. It's sort of like a modern modern sort of shape but keeping true to that classic style. Yeah definitely. I mean it's got a lot of influence from, it's a very classical French sort of look, even a Spanish look as well but we've brought it to life with a beautiful sort of a shell look shade and it would look great on desks as well and we use it beautifully as a uh, bedside table. It's lovely. Oh, yeah. It would be nice for a bedside table because it's got that lovely finish on the inside as well. That's... And that gives a lovely reflection to it as well. A nice warm gold look. Yes. You can imagine sitting back reading a book yeah. and just it sort of lightens up everywhere. But no, it is a beautiful lamp and we love it. It's a great talking point amongst, mm. the, uh, amongst the stand. And this finish too. The finish I is like great. That. Yeah, it's like sort lovely. of a copper look as well. Yeah. Um, it's got that slight sort of antique tinge to it. Yeah. It's not too intrusive, but it mm. is quite soft, and mm. we like to put that through it all our products the as whole well. Look. Yeah, it would be lovely as a bedside table. Now, this, I love this. I love the finish of the on ice this. bucket. Yes. It's beautiful. It looks like it's been handed down from generation to generation. It is. It is. But it's, it's, uh, it's not. No, it's a new no. make. It's um, it's cast aluminium and how they get that beautiful mottle effect is that they actually dry it in the sand by just dumping it in sand. So when it's been moulded, when, it's, like been when it's still hot, hot as it is, so hot, to speak, yes. Chuck it in the sand. It is, and that sort of gets that beautiful mottle look. Wow. So that's done very well, and we love that. I mean, it's great for corporate gifts, yeah. weddings. Beautiful. You can even see that on people's kitchen tables. And yes. Sort of a contemporary look, even a classical look as well. Yes, you could it's, use it It's a really, really nice product. The rug, I love the rug. Everyone loves Tell the rugs. Tell me about yeah. the rugs. <laughs> well, that's beautiful. sort of, this is mum's one of your foremost mums. there. She yes. definitely is. She's very innovative and she's yeah. great and she puts the collections very well together. Now, these actual pieces of the rugs are honestly from the homes from people in Pakistan, Iran and Afghanistan. Really? So they put together... Do you go in and raid the house and steal their carpets? No, 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 no. <laughs> so they're put together in Pakistan um, mm. with a person that works with my mum, Marion. Yeah. And then of course then she and he selects which pieces they want and mm -hmm. how big they want it. Mm. And then they're taken over to get cleaned and then brought to Australia. So it's quite oh, interesting okay. to have so such a thing. So they're put together here? No, they're put together in Pakistan. Yeah. Uh, but um, mum goes over in China and sort of puts that together over there where they cleaned. Yes, exactly. I see. I see. 
Exactly. So okay. it's, it's quite nice to have that old, really authentic, antique item, which you can talk yeah. about. It's a great talking point yes. amongst the new items at Hawkins. Wow. So lots of household histories in one rug. Definitely. I can imagine so. Love this. The chest is fantastic. I mean, it's it is. timber. It is. It's, and um, it's heavy. We lifted it, it over is, here. Yeah, it's very <laughs> heavy. It's um, very strong timber, which has been lined with aluminium to get that effect. Ah. So we call that the aviator look. Now the aviator look we've also got in uh, beautiful chest of drawers and a mm, mirror. I saw, we couldn't drag that. No, we it's tried. too heavy, it's too heavy, but it yeah. is a beautiful piece. Now, this is quite different from a sort of uh, the Horgans, the look, but having those items, those new modern looking items is a great influence in the range. They do mm. work well together. Yeah. And sort of bringing that actually gives a you know, nice purpose of life to the whole look, as well as a great talking point. Because the, fr the French style of furnishing, if you stick to just the the classic it French style can be a bit restricting, beige, can't it? But they then, would say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. But then when you start mixing in these sort of pieces and, the, and a little bit of colour, it just it just works beautifully. I, mm. I think it's I think it's the best range we've ever done. Yeah, no, we're very happy it with really that. Is yeah, lovely. we've certainly done. We've certainly, yeah, Marion's very very happy with the collection she's put together. So, yeah, good credit to her. Thank you so much for your time. Thank today. you, Trish.